as we have seen that uh, the microbial culture require the oxygen for the respiration if the fermentation process is aerobic. But in this module, we will talk about uh, some brief about uh, uh, that uh, what is the function of the aeration. The main function is uh, as we know that uh, the supply of the oxygen. But along with the, the supply of the oxygen, the agitation has its own role. So the important factor in fermentation is the provision of adequate mixing of the different content. So mixing in the fermentations require for the three major requirements as we have already discussed in our previous modules. So first one that agitation is required to disperse the air bubbles properly into the fermentation vessel. So to suspend the cells because when there is a growth the cells will be uh, multiply and then this try to be settled down on the bottom of the fermenter then the agitation help to suspend the cells into the whole of the medium. And third is to enhance the heat and the mass transfer in the medium. So metabolic heat that is produced by the cells and even if the extra heat and the temperature is uh, uh, required in the fermentation vessel then so the escape of the gases, mixing of the gases and the such kind of the mass transfer in the medium that is also facilitated by the agitation. So all these are related to the gas liquid mass transfer. So the gas liquid mass transfer is very much linked with the agitation. So aeration as concerned the aeration, so the aeration referred to the process of introducing the air into the fermentation medium just to increase the oxygen concentration into the medium. So aeration may be preferred by bubbling of the air into the liquid medium but which we called as the fermentation medium. So we can supply the air just by spraying or we can injecting the air into the medium or sometimes we can put our medium just by the uh, spraying the liquid into the air. So the agitation of the liquid is to increase the surface absorption. So the aeration and the agitation are both interlinked. So the supplying the oxygen to the aerobic cells is very significant challenge as we have seen that how much oxygen is needed to respire the specific amount of uh, glucose and on the other hand we seen that we have seen that the solubility of the oxygen is very much limited or less than the glucose or the carbon compound. So the problem is that the oxygen solubility in the water and water contain also number of other ingredients. So as you can see there that a pure water has the tendency to retain the oxygen 8 milligram per liter at 4 degrees Celsius. So 7.4 at 30 degrees Celsius. So as well as the temperature will increase then the solubility and the retaining power of the water mean pure water. So when we are dealing with the fermentation there will be no more pure water that contain number of nutrients. So the solubility is affected. So that's why the solubility in pure water is 8 milligram per liter at 4 degrees C Celsius. And the same way, if the temperature will be more than 4, then the solubility will be less. That is uh, indirectly proportion of the temperature to the solubility of the oxygen. So the supply of the oxygen in the fermentation process is a rate limiting. Because when there will be a no sufficient amount of the oxygen, then there will be no complete respiration and then there will be a remaining carbon source in the medium. So that's why if we want to respire the complete carbon source and we want to utilize that carbon source and then to have our required yield, then we have to supply the oxygen. So 
when we say just to satisfy the fermentation requirement in term of the oxygen, we can say that uh, the oxygen supply on term of aeration and agitation that has a critical effect on the capital cost of the industrial scale fermentations. So that's why we can say that aeration and agitation is a very much importance in fermentation process.